how would you say you would sell this movie to people who have absolutely no interest in F1 and kind of looking at it and going, oh, that's not my thing? It's a rush. Yeah. It's, uh, it's, it's uh, yeah. I think none of us were really, and Daniel had a bit more experience and a, appreciation for Formula One, but I certainly, um, you know, was uneducated in it and Ron knew nothing about it to begin with, which I think, so we all came at it with a very enthusiastic, uh, open, uh, you know, an app appreciation for it. And, and Ron was able to go, okay, this is what's really interesting and put this on screen. Instead of being, you know, too educated in Formula One and being limited and restricted by kind of opinions, he, he uh, and the thing about this story was that it was about, you know, the, 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 the fact of this story and, and the journey of these two characters and the contrasting personalities was better than any fiction, you know, and it transcends the Formula One world. It was just about two fascinating human beings and and uh, and their rivalry and the yin and yang between the two of them. And, and um, you know, it's you're pretty unbelievable when you see the film and you get to the end of it and you think, oh, that must have been creative license. And I just, you know, but it wasn't. Mm -hmm. A lot of that was, you know, just about all of it was factual, especially the races. And it's not really about F1. I mean, it's an incredible place and world to set a story and it is a true story about these incredible drivers but it's much more than that and for someone who had no interest in it knew nothing about it I still found the film just incredibly thrilling it is so exciting and sexy and heartbreaking and you know women love this film which I'm very proud of I think it's a testament to the creative team that that women who have no interest in the driving find the driving very exciting, but also the characters surrounding it just, just wonderfully interesting. So it's a very big story. Well, I think it's a, it's, I, I don't think in the first place, uh, on the one side, I think that sports, generally speaking, can be a very emotional thing. But um, even for people who have no connection, like I never had any connection to Formula One or something, I think it's a very touching story. It's a very, it's about two men, uh, two very different characters. And it's about how um, maybe uh, to begin with, they're not the best friends, but then it's this tragic ac accident happens and that changes everything. So it's a very uh, human and personal story as well. Um, yeah, of two very different people, so I think, and it's funny, it's big entertainment, really, uh, yeah, it's fantastic. I've, I've seen the film for the first time with my husband and my parents, you know, and we're all very different people, but all four of us were absolutely, um, yeah, blown away by, by this fantastic film, yeah. It, well, it was made by people who aren't Formula One nuts, <laughs> and so they should trust that, you know, <laughs> If we found a way of interesting ourselves, then maybe, just maybe, we'll interest them. And and uh, um, you know, again and again, what we hear is how surprised people are when they see the film. You know, people who are in Formula One are surprised that we got it right, and people who have nothing, no interest in Formula One, are surprised that they find it interesting. So uh, fingers crossed that those reactions continue. I think it's the it's the relationships. It's a unique set of characters. It's a sexy time. And yes, the sport defines them, but it's not about the sport. Uh, they have to judge, and I think exactly what you said is, is the secret of it. Even if you're not a Formula 1 fan, you see it, two different personalities going for the same approach in a very interesting, dangerous world. And um, we will see what the, what the people will say.